Lawmakers in Austin are considering wide-reaching new punishments over improper student-teacher relationships, including taking pensions away from teachers convicted of having sexual contact with students. Fox 4's Diana Zoga joining us now with more on what those lawmakers are considering. Diana. Heather, lawmakers say they want to make it easier to find people working in public, private, and charter schools who've had inappropriate contact with students and keep those adults from working with young people again. This is not a victimless crime. Convening the Texas Senate Committee on Education, lawmakers reflected on the numbers that brought them here. The number of uh, educators being investigated for uh, inappropriate relationships has skyrocketed in the last uh, fiscal year. The TEA says that since September 1st, it's opened 97 investigations involving inappropriate relationships between an educator and student. On pace to pass the last full fiscal year's 222 investigations, up significantly from 156 five years ago. This is a big problem. It is a broken system, and this is why it requires a very substantial piece of legislation to go and fix all the different problems. State Senator Van Taylor of Plano says one solution may be financial. We need to revoke the pension of teachers uh, who commit these kind of these kind of terrible acts against children that they're getting pensions in jail. Taylor is also proposing expanding reporting requirements and establishing a registry of educators who've had inappropriate contact with students to make sure they're not hired anywhere else. Proposed legislation would make it a crime for a superintendent or principal to not report an employee who they have reason to believe had inappropriate contact with a student. And we don't want to criminalize the, the teachers that are taking the extra time to really try to get to know students and dialogue in the proper way. Clinical psychologist Dr. John Jeffrey agrees the concerns have reached epidemic proportions driven in part by interactions that happen online. All those get blurred on social media, the different levels of intimacy for a relationship, and it all becomes so casual, and there's deep level of confiding in somebody that you've just met. Dr. Jeffrey says kids especially have trouble with those blurred lines and should be able to rely on adults to enforce the boundaries. Most school teachers are great teachers, and they're, they're abiding by this, but what the, the great increase of this, it's just tragic, and it's heartbreaking. It Some districts in North Texas already take steps to address social media boundaries with policies and additional training. Heather, the legislation lawmakers are talking about now would require that in all schools statewide. All right, Deanna, in our newsroom tonight, thank you.